so we want to find the domain of this function, right? So remember, in a nutshell, domain is all the possible values for x that you could use. Okay? And in some instances, like this one, it's easier to rule out things. The big thing to notice is that's a fraction, right? Okay. And what is it about fractions that are kind of special? You're not allowed to divide by zero. Okay. So the only thing in a fraction is you can't have zero in the denominator. <laughs> so what that means is that the only number we can't use is whatever makes the denominator equal to zero. So when you have a rational function like this, set the denominator equal to zero and solve that. So I can add x to, to both sides, and that's going to give me 14 equals our x, okay? This number can't use, and it's the only number that we can't use. So that means the domain is everything except for the 14. So the domain then is all real numbers except the x equals 14. Now, in an interval notation, that would be everything from negative infinity to 14 with a parentheses because we can't include the 14 and everything above the 14 so we have to use the parentheses again so this would be everything except for 14 because the this interval is all the numbers that are smaller than 14 this is all the numbers that are bigger than 14 so hopefully this helps